What's going on? So it's been about mm, five minutes since I ended my video on the A pillar bars that I just got done. Um, but this is exciting because you know why? I'm about to start on the last bar that I need to do for the roll cage. So, which is the harness bar, um, if you didn't know already. Uh, so before I can actually figure out exactly where I'm gonna put it um, or how I'm gonna do it, because I have two options pretty much. The first one being I run one bar and I bow it out just a little bit so I put a slight bend on both ends so it clears the X and the main hoop. Um, and then the second option is I run two single bars um, and I notch them into the X onto the main hoop. Um, I want to run the single bar. I think that would be easier. It'd look cleaner too. Um, it'd be less notching, which is always nice because um, that's usually what takes me the longest. But uh, the biggest thing to consider when you make a harness bar is the layback of the actual harnesses. So for me to figure that out, I need to grab the seats, throw them in here roughly, and figure out if one bar will work. Um, so the rule state, it has to be between zero or parallel um, and 45 degrees. But between zero and 10 degrees is the best, and that's the preferred method. So I should be able to nail that with a single bar because they're not that much different. Uh, but I do want to leave a little bit of room to play with. Um, that way I can adjust the height and the layback of the seat too because I don't want to like put it right at parallel uh, for one and then it's a little lower for the other or something like that uh, because then I can't really change that one seat, like drop it down or anything. So um, yeah, I'm going to grab the seats, throw them in here, and try to figure out exactly which bar I'm going to make. I got to say, the seat looks pretty good in there. Uh, it's gotten really dirty though. That's kind of crappy that I've had to use it so much, but I can clean it, not a big deal, but I think it's starting to look pretty good in there. Almost looks like a real rally car, almost. <laughs> or at least like a rally car shell. It's still got a lot of work left though. Um, anyway, try to figure out exactly how to do this, uh, which it should be pretty simple. And I'm just gonna put a rough mark on the A pillar, or the uh, B pillar bar of the main hoop. Um, and once I do that, they should be relatively close. I mean, 45 degrees, that's a lot to play with, uh, but I would like to keep it within 10 degrees, uh, so we'll see. So this is probably one of the biggest downfalls of that notcher. It works really well for like straight tubes. If you ever have to notch something with a bend in it, it doesn't work at all. Uh, it has to be straight for at least like, uh, whatever this is, so like five inches, uh, so it can sit in here properly. Uh, and obviously this isn't, so it doesn't work. So I'm gonna try to make do with my drill press uh, and still use a hole saw. I could use an angle grinder and just mark it all out too, um, but I'm gonna give this a shot because that'll probably work pretty easily. It's clamped in there right now, so I'm gonna give it a shot. All right, this bar was a pain in the ass. I don't know why it was so hard to make. Uh, it just took forever to like get the notches to line up and slowly remove material to get it to fit right. I don't know why it took so long, but it did. Uh, but I just hammered it into submission, got it in there. Um, and it works. Um, 
so when it's set for like over here with the driver's side so I just measured it uh, at its most extreme with the drivers at its height that those brackets are set at so most extreme so as if there's a really tall person or if the seats as high as it can go uh, it's at like 34 degrees um, and then flush it's at like 10 so like if I just go level with like the back of the seat with the like harness slots that it has which you can't really see them uh, but if I go level with that it's like right at 10 degrees uh, and the same way with the uh, passenger side so the passenger side it's a little different because the passenger side sits a little lower so right level with the uh, harness slots in the actual seat um, I think it was at like six degrees uh, so I think that would actually need to go a little bit lower just because those brackets do have more adjustability and I probably want to drop that seat just a little bit more um, and you don't want it too high uh, I'll probably end up keeping this bar I don't know I'm gonna think about it a little bit more but it is kind of weird to have to set because that seat is gonna be so much lower than the driver's seat um, so they kind of need to be at two different angles either that or just kind of find a happy medium but I could set both of them at 10 or between 10 um, if I just did individual bars um, I did just spend a lot of time on that one but I don't know I'm gonna think about it overnight I can't even weld this bar in anyway right now because uh, I'll show you why so as you can see the gusset that I'd have to put on the X it would be in the way for me to actually be able to weld it uh, since it has to be welded continuously to the tube so that won't work um, until after I actually get gussets in there so I don't know, I gotta figure out if I wanna keep this or if I just wanna run straight bars and notch them. That probably would have been easier from the start. Thanks, John, uh, if you're actually gonna watch the video. <laughs> no, uh, I liked this design and I, I did plan on doing it before, but I'm not sure if I like it so much now. Eh, I don't know, I'll think about it overnight. I'm done for tonight though, uh, I've been working too long. Well, it's the next day, I've been thinking about it a lot. Um, I'll probably just run this. I talked to the scrutineer, um, he kinda just said, you can run either. He didn't really give a preference, but uh, I kind of wanted to see like what his opinion was, what he thought was better or whatnot, but I'm probably gonna run this. Uh, but before I continue with the harness bar, I'm going to make some gussets for the X. Uh, so I'm gonna come back after I magically make some. Well, it's kind of awkward for me because I'm filming two videos kind of simultaneously because I'm doing the gussets and the harness. Uh, but I'm gonna finish the harness video, obviously, because that's what you're watching right now. Um, I just sliced my thumb open on a gusset that I was making. Um, I got the taco gussets done. You won't get to see those getting made yet uh, until a couple of days after that video comes out. But, so I've made my decision. I'm not going to run that harness bar, so I don't know. I don't really like it. And I'd have to set in like happy medium between the two seats because they're not at the same level. Uh, mine sits higher than the co-driver, so when mine's at 25, that one's at 10. So. Um, instead of trying to find that happy medium where it's at 25 and 10 or whatever, um, I'm just going to set both of them. Uh, that way they can move up and down independently. Um, and it really shouldn't be that much of a difference. But not a big deal. I could probably even use this tube uh, for the uh, cuts uh, because it's just going to be a small section. So I need to roughly measure out exactly how long I need them. Notch them really quick, uh, should be pretty easy notches. This is a 90 degree notch on this side. Uh, that'll be like a 45 degree notch because the X is pretty much completely at 45 degrees. Um, so yeah, just need to make those really quick. Uh, and then align them with the seats. So I gotta grab the seats and line them up for exactly where they need to go, roughly. Uh, and from there, weld them in. seats throw them in here see if I can line them up uh, and hopefully I got them at the right length because these can't really raise anymore 
Uh, but yeah, <laughs> that one probably can drop down some, uh, quite a bit actually, the driver's side. Uh, but we'll see once I actually drive the grab the seats. Drive the sheesh. All right, so the passenger side uh, is pretty good. Uh, so it's set the angle right now uh, for the harness layback is 26 degrees uh, for uh, the center of the harness slot. So uh, it'll like change as like you put on your uh, Hans device and it actually sits on the Hans. Uh, so you kind of have to factor that. You can't just go to the bottom. Uh, but the seat is going to drop about an inch on the passenger side. So I can still lower that a little bit more. Uh, and when it's pushed as far forward as it can, I've got about three inches to the back of the seat. So there's plenty of room to get the uh, adjuster strap on there um, with like the, the S ring or whatever for the harness. Uh, so that'll be fine. So now just need to set up the driver's side, which will be about an inch higher. Uh, than the passenger side, so roughly kind of where it's at right now. Um, and then once I do that, tack it in place too, uh, and then just fully weld them up. Both sides are tacked into place right now, so I just need to weld them up fully. Um, and then I'll be done with the harness bars. I'm not gonna add anything like to retain the straps or anything like that. Uh, I don't think I need them. Uh, I might in the future, I don't know. But I'm not gonna make anything right now. Uh, but that's probably all I've got for this video once I weld them up. Uh, probably a pretty crappy video, I don't know. I've definitely been super scatterbrained with the video and well, this video and the gusset video, because I was trying to do them at the same time while talking to a scrutineer on them. That way I can wait and get word and whatnot uh, about like what's allowed and whatnot. So definitely didn't want to make anything weird. Um, that bar probably would have been fine, but I didn't really like how far it was away from my seat. It's recommended to be eight inches, uh, under eight inches away um, from the highest point on the Hans. So highest point in the Hans is a couple inches in of the, or at least an inch and a half in from the seat hole, like where the seat belt hole goes through on the seats. So I wouldn't, I would have been like right at eight inches on that. Now that's not a rule. I don't believe it's a rule that I saw in FIA. That's just like the preferred mounting. All they really care about is like the layback. So they prefer it to be as close as possible. Um, that side, it is pretty close, but I can move the seat up a little bit. Uh, there's plenty of room to get the adjuster in there, so I'm not worried about it, but if anything, and I take it to my first race and it gets screwed near or whatever, I'll bring this bar with me and I'll weld it in there really quick if that's an issue. I don't know. Why not, right? Uh, just to make sure I can still race. So yeah, I'm going to weld up these fully. That is all the welding that I've got to do on the harness bars. So the harness bars are completely done. They actually came out to almost the same exact level, which is kind of funny. I could have definitely ran that bar and it wouldn't have been an issue. Um, anyway, that's all I've got for this video. Um, I actually only have these gussets left, so that both the door bars uh, and then the eight color gussets to make. So that's six total gussets that I have to make because these are going to be big ones. Um, and then I'll be done with the cage as soon as those are welded in. That's all I've got. Technically to pass like tech for the cage is that. 
Uh, I am going to add some more, like I'm going to do gussets down the A pillars uh, and the B pillars uh, and the windshield bar and possibly the roof as well. Uh, but none of that will probably happen for a while. Um, I'm going to try to knock out as much of the essential stuff as I can um, and then that kind of stuff will come after. But that's all I got for this one. I've been super scatterbrained on this, like I've said multiple times. Uh, just going back and forth between the two gussets and stuff at the same time. I mean, obviously, as you can see, I've got those gussets in. Those are pretty easy to make. Um, these are going to be a lot more involved uh, because it's going to be one huge gusset that wraps all the way around uh, with a whole bunch of holes and a lot of dimple dies. So, yeah, I'm going to get started on that. So I'll stop rambling. You guys have a good one. And I, don't know, I guess I'll see you when I make the gussets.